The city of Des Moines says there was a fire call every 16 minutes last year, and that's a record for Des Moines. So, of course, now they could use more firefighters to help answer all of those calls. It can be a tough but very rewarding career. The city is now accepting new recruits to join the fire department. So here to tell us all about implying and more on those record calls is Amon Douglas. I passed first test. Good, good job. Tonight. All right. OK, good so job. let's get uh, down to all of the details as far as just why are we seeing all of these calls in the city of Des Moines right well, now? You know, that's a good question. But first of all, we have to understand that our city is, is constantly evolving. So as the dynamics of the communities that we live in, as they change, um, call volume increases, the different natures of the calls that we're responding on. And I think we can say the same for for the police department as well. <laughs> Things are changing. Um, the city is, is growing, even though we're not, uh, our population isn't changing a whole lot, but just things are constantly changing to where the call volume is increasing, different natures of things and different, different human behaviors, actually. Sure. I mean, and also just not just talking about the call volume, but it's so important when we're talking about emergency, the response times. And that's sure. something that obviously the city of Des Moines and the Des Moines Fire Department takes really seriously. We do, we do. We, uh, we take a lot of pride in being able to say that by the time a person hangs up their phone call with dispatchers, that we're at your front door within five minutes. I think our average response time is three to four minutes, but uh, a lot goes into the way we strategically have our fire stations sure. placed. So we're, we're always doing different types of studies to find out logistically which demographic, which part of town, also based upon commutes and routes of travels and population density, what, uh, what the needs will be. So, so even right now, just uh, the new fire station number four that's coming on board here in the near future, that is strategically placed to serve the needs of a density uh, that we like to, uh, like to pay attention to. All about location, Always. for sure, when you're Always. talking about those fire departments. Okay, so you've been doing this for a while. Uh, yeah. Tell me what are you looking for in uh, a new recruit? Who would okay. make a good recruit? Well, uh, you know, first of all, we're looking for, uh, for women and men, uh, age 21. Uh, you don't have to have a college degree, but you have had to have finished high school with either a GED or a diploma and have to possess a valid driver's license. And typically, we will see applicants come from all over the country. So the word is out there that Des Moines, Iowa is a wonderful place to live, to grow, to raise a family, and to, uh, and to find meaningful employment. So for the last couple of years, we have hired people that see the website, find out about the recruitment process, and they're willing to relocate here to take part in this. That's really promising. It is, it honestly is. You know, we, um, we prefer to hire locally if we can. You know, this is, this is ours. This is our city, this is our organization. If we can draw an applicant pool from right here, great. But uh, sometimes we find somebody with a whole lot of drive and talent that are willing to move here from Florida, if you can believe it. Yeah, okay. That's happened. That is good. That's good news and uh, good for the city of Des Moines it as is. well. It is. Um, so when we're talking about then the process, because obviously you have to have the interest, but then it, not just everybody can become a firefighter. Uh, so true. You know, um, one of the things that we want to emphasize is the person that is drawn to this line of work, you know, first of all, they're, they're still drawn to a family concept. And a lot of us were and still are athletes of some types so where we do thrive in that team environment. You know, putting yourself um, second amongst a group of people that have a common goal, and that's to make an impact in someone or some, some place's uh, existence. You know, that's what we're thriving on. That's what we're looking for. We want those people with a willingness to serve, um, to make sacrifices, and to build a foundation to stand on for the rest of their lives. You know, uh, we never minimize any type of employment that's out there, but being selected to do this line of work, wherever it is in the country, mm -hmm. It, it says that you were just the uh, part of the elite that we're seeking this. You know, we see you out on fire calls and that's gotta be that passion. I can still see it, oh, you yeah. know, when you're out on the call or here with us. And sure. that's gotta be what helps continue and keeps driving you. 100%. You know, we still thrive on adrenaline and also, you know, there's something about being called to, uh, to help mitigate a really bad situation, be it a medical emergency, which uh, comprises 63% of our call volume, or there's an actual structure fire, or there's someone stuck in the river that needs rescuing. There are so many different facets of what, we did, what it is that we get to do on the fire department. It isn't just running in and out of burning houses and being heroes. There are so many other parts to this. But uh, sure enough, like you just mentioned, there's still that drive when oh, we yeah. start the fire truck and ambulance, it. put the lights on and 
and get to go make a difference. Okay, before we let you go, we have to just put up some information because sure. to help people, uh, if you want to join Des Moines Fire, there is the information on your screen to have some more recruits to join you, Amon. Let's get them. All right, thanks for your time this afternoon. Thanks.